Hi, my name is Dr. Selvan Demir. I'm an assistant professor of chemistry working in the area of inorganic chemistry. We are producing new compounds. We are molecule makers, and so molecules have certain symmetries to them, and so artistically can be very beautiful looking, aside of all the possible application that you might have. It's just beautiful to make a molecule. To me, I see a lot in art into that too. When I think of, okay, this is maybe a complicated molecule, but I want to talk to a layman or someone who doesn't know anything about science, uh, then I can really use the actual scientific result and, uh, and show it artistically the artwork that I created together with my group members. We then can explain what is, for example, crystallography, what is example spectroscopy, why do we need it, why is it cool, and what kind of information can we get out of this. We mostly use Blender. It gives us all the tools, basically, but the creativity still stems from us because we still need to figure out how do we display the molecule, in what kind of setting, is it like on Earth or in universe, is it has some like volcano scenery or some under underwater uh, uh, landscape. And so that's where the fun is. And then of course we bring in a lot of elements that, uh, that everyone can associate with. Uh, but yeah, we then also show uh, basically um, like actual data artistically like we have a cover just as an example where we collected magnetic data in actually our laboratory but then displayed this with a bunch of muscles and shells and this is kind of fun and also it's fun for my students as well to really be part of all this process and it makes them creative as well it's really exciting about all the artwork we have drafted and which resulted in thus far 18 front covers of various scientific journals we will display them uh, in various galleries and museums uh, and that will give us um, the power of really visualize our science through art and explain it to even the non-scientists. Hopefully this will attract um, uh, much more participation and, and uh, interest in STEM fields.